Hey there, it's Brittany, and today I'm going to design a necklace with you. Um, I originally promised that I'm going to make something with this um, wonderful agate pendant that Michelle sent, and I put a bale on it, and I pulled some beads, but then I went in a different direction. So I, I am going to still make something with this, but I haven't figured out what yet. We're getting there. But uh, the beads I had pulled out to go with that were these wonderful orb beads. I think these came from cherry tree beads either that or Lima. Um, these, I think they're glass, but I'm not actually 100% sure if they're glass. I think they are. I got them from um, Tracy's Distache Group on Facebook. And these crystals uh, I got from Augie. They're gorgeous. And I just found them in the bin that I put the stuff I got from Augie from. Um, and then uh, these little cube spacers i mean they're they're probably seed beads but i'm calling them spacers today and i think i got these from tracy too but i'm not 100 percent sure on that and then these um abalone shell beads i'm seeing like a halo so i'm gonna clean my camera and i'll be right back okay that's much better so these abalone shell beads so once i put those and i had a different one i got these from michael's when they were like 60 percent off or 70 percent off or something i had these but these actually just looked so so great I think this necklace is going to make itself, guys. <laughs> so obviously these will be the focal. Um, let me snip this apart. Uh, it's just going to be a strand necklace on beading wire. I know I've been doing a lot of those lately, but that's we get it. We all get in our our grooves, right? So I'm just going to put these metal beads aside. I don't need those. I love how they say it's 11 piece. They're counting these spacer beads. <laughs> they don't even know if they're real metal. I think they're acrylic coated in metal so and then I'm just gonna put this in the recycle bin and we have our focal which will be these trapezoids okay how many do we have we have five okay perfect they're so gorgeous look at those oh they're just beautiful um, which one do I want in the middle I think I like these two the most this one's got to go in the middle and then this one, there we go. Switch it up a little bit. Then we have our crystals. Do I want these to go in between? So I have four of those, which would be perfect to go in between our trapezoids. I have five of them. Okay, or I could find something else to go in the middle of these beads I think that might be too much blockiness so we are gonna for sure use them because they just look so great um, but I think we'll put the orbs between yeah that's gonna look really good and then we're gonna pull the blue in for some contrast so bead bead board would be great for this but we'll just keep going from here all right I'm gonna snip or at least open these I think I used some of these on a mermaid net bracelet net last year I for sure did okay oh. oh and Goldie just started squeaking her toy my mom is visiting this she just got here yesterday so she'll be here until next Friday which is awesome I can't wait my vacation kind of started today doing half days today and tomorrow, and then next week I'll be off of work. So we're gonna have as much fun as we possibly can while she's here. All right, so I don't know, I know I want these to be between our beads here. And I'm just gonna cut this open. I know these are briolettes, but these are too, kind of, so we'll, it's gonna be fun. I think it's just gonna be a fun, funky, really eye-catching necklace. And I don't care if the briolettes go, like I want them to actually end up looking like that. I don't care if they're in, in, in the same direction or not. Oh, Goldie's running in here. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so spoiled. I, didn't, I don't think I realized how spoiled she was until my mom got here my mom's like, yeah, she's she's pretty spoiled, Brittany. <laughs> um, but it's okay, she deserves it. All right. Here 
now that I see it, we might end up using some of these spacer beads. So, um, where did I put my seed beads? going up the sides of the necklace and of course we'll use our orbs as well like I said this necklace is kind of making itself okay I think I'm gonna do clusters of three and five for the blue beads and then um, they'll be separated by these crystals um, some of them will be separated by our seed beads and our orbs you know what I think I'm gonna get a bead board because this is not working okay much better all right so I'm just going to put our little drops on the sides On three to start. right up next to the blue beads to start and then I'll put the spacers there Oop. and down okay and then I'll go ahead and do some more blue spacers or not spacers but blue glass beads I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two separated by some uh, seed beads and then I'll do another two and then we'll go with one of our orb crystals and I'm gonna have to find some more silver uh, spacer spacer beads which won't, won't be very hard and um, because there were only a certain amount of these in there and I'm gonna use them at the beginning um, and then we're going to go up the necklace repeating like that so uh, let me get this laid out and I'll be okay, right back. so I have it haphazardly laid out <laughs> I kind of know what I want to do um, and then I have some beetlon bead string wire and silver and I'm just gonna start stringing um, at least how I'd like I'm thinking I'd like to do it I want to start with some of these little beads at the back of the necklace Oop. just so you know I made a necklace the other day and I didn't film it on purpose <laughs> and it went so fast I can't believe I was like I don't remember jewelry making taking as long as it does for me and it it's because of the filming I didn't realize it so like, I guess I get it but I made this necklace in like 20 minutes and it's like less than 20 minutes and it's gorgeous. I'll show you guys in a different finished jewelry video. I want to try and do more jewelry not on camera because it actually is easier for me um, to just design something without explaining it. But you know, I love doing stuff on camera too. So, all right, these three in the back, I'm going to separate with our seed beads. And I did switch out the metal beads um, because I wanted them to be more cohesive. I pulled out these basket weave beads. At least that's what they look like to me. 
And I think I got these from maybe Bargain Bead Box. Not 100% sure, but I think that's where they came from. All right, then I'm going to add on one of my big crystals. All right, so here is our pattern so far. And these will flip around and I actually really want that to happen because I don't want them to be that uniform going around the necklace so I am going to string and um, I'll do that and fast forward for you guys Okay, so our necklace is strong. I did end up at adding some more of the blue beads at the back because it wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. And then I added 10 of the spacer beads at the back. So I am going to use a toggle clasp on this. It's a toggle I also got from Augie. It's a snake. I've wanted to use these forever and I just think this necklace is so cool. And the snakes, even though I don't like, you know, love snakes in real life, like if I saw one, I'm not going to go pick it up. But um, I just really think they look cool. And I saw a really, I should have bought it. I saw a really cool magnifying glass today at World Market. And it was like a gold snake and then the belly was uh, the magnifying glass. Anyway, off to topic. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish off our necklace. I have some crimp beads. And which side? This will be, we'll do this side. I'm just gonna crimp right on to our toggle. I want to make sure our um, wires don't cross in the crimp. And we'll put it in our little valley there. And Again, make sure your crimps, uh, your wires aren't crossing, and we'll smish. Okay, and then we'll turn it 90 degrees. Smish again in the next one, and then we're just going to walk it up with the jaws of the plier, pliers, until we do a flat crimp there. Um, and I did grab crimp covers; they're not always necessary. Especially if you have, whoo, started crimping and it, it fell out. Especially if you have like longer hair or, um, yeah, longer hair, if you wear like hoodies or whatever, you're not going to see the back. You don't, if you don't want to invest in crimp covers, that's okay. You don't, they're not necessary. They just make it look like there's a silver bead in the back. Sometimes you get lucky enough that your crimp is smaller than the bead next to it. And then you could just hide um, your crimp in that bead. That happened on uh, one of the necklaces I recently made for Jesse James beads. So I'm just going to slide a few of these on. And then we'll cut that tail after the rest of the necklace is finished. Okay. So that's what it looks like back here. And then I will go to my other side and I'm just going to move my beads down to the end that I just finished. But we want to make sure what it is loosey goosey so it will drape correctly on our necks. Um, now we want to make sure also that there isn't too much of a gap so it's a delicate balance so I want to make sure I'm not seeing any wire and if I do that it's not too bad um, and this is where you kind of want to make sure your beads are laying somewhat haphazardly so one going each way there you go 
Okay, these beads don't really matter that much because there's a spacer between them. Uh, but I'm just trying to do that when, where there's no spacer, making sure they're facing opposite directions because it will make the necklace look much more interesting. Okay. Face that guy the right way. All right, and then we'll just do the exact same thing on this side. This necklace is so fun. So fun and fantastic. Okay, where does our loop, oh, I guess it's the end of the tail here. Really? Yeah. You could use a jump ring if you'd like. Just gonna push this through a couple of these. It's easier to get leverage for me that way. You don't have to do that. Okay, and before you crimp, just make sure you're, you don't have any wild gaps between your beads, um, that you're happy with your bead placement. Um, I'm, very, I'm, I'm loving this necklace. I think it's looking pretty great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen this a little bit so we have some movement. There we go. And then we'll just crimp like we did on the other side of the necklace. Oh, did you guys hear that? I just crunched one of my, oh, and it's still crunching. <laughs> I just crunched one of my beads. And you know what? I have a choice to make. I can crack off this bead, this crimp, um, and then put on another one because I still left my tail on. That's why I always leave my tail on. Um, or I can just go with the flow. I'm gonna go with the flow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, so if this necklace was a gift for someone, I would definitely crack off this um, crimp bead and redo it. This necklace is a gift for me. <laughs> and I'm the only one who's ever gonna know that, that happened besides you know, all of my 5,000 subscribers. or almost 6,000 subscribers, guys. We need to have a giveaway soon once we hit 6,000. But anyway, myself and you will know that uh, I did that, but nobody wearing, nobody seeing me wear the necklace will know that that happened. And I can always put an extra crimp cover on the back to make it look better. So save yourself some, some heartache and some frustration. I'm gonna cut that off. And we're gonna find the tube on the other one. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap on this side, but that's okay. Okay, uh, let me put on my bead, my crimp cover. And this is a larger crimp cover, so it's actually really helping me disguise that I messed up. <laughs> there we go. Just kind of keep adjusting until that closes. All right, so here is our necklace. Isn't that cool? Isn't that clasp awesome? All right, so let me get this wire out of the way. And my cracked bead remnants my cracked bead carcass <laughs> all right so this necklace is awesome i'm obsessed with this shell so let me show you that first so pretty with those orbs in the middle and then we just did the the glass beads and some crystals up the rest of the necklace and it's not what i expected to use any of these beads for <laughs> but i'm really really happy with it so let me know what you think. Um, I hope you learned something today. If not, that's cool too. I love just designing with you guys. Um, check out uh, this weekend. I, I think it's this weekend on March 28th. 
Yeah, March 28th, I'll be doing a live on Jesse James Beats with their new Pantone Beats, um, which are really yummy. They they sent out a lot of them in the um, January bead box, but now they're available in Strand Duos. So super yummy. I'm going to be playing with those on Sunday on their Facebook page. So anyway, let me know what you think of this necklace, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a good weekend. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Are you feeling okay? Hi, baby. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good baby. Those cute little paws. Yeah, that's a good girl. <laughs>